right now. Good evening, and thanks for joining us for News 5, WCYB at 6. I'm Paul Johnson. And I'm Julie Newman. When you go to college, you expect to get a job in your chosen field. But that doesn't always happen. The reason is often an oversupply of potential employees. Pharmacists have seen this happen. In the year 2000, pharmacists were naming their salaries because there weren't enough of them. There were only 7,000 nationally. But over the last decade, new schools offering pharmacy degrees opened, and that supply basically caught up with the need. As of 2013, there are 13,000 graduates. It's a cycle when the Appalachian College of Pharmacy has managed to ride with success. In fact, the school recently celebrated a milestone. As News 5 WCYB Samantha Cozy tells us, college graduates in 2014 scored higher on a national exam than all other pharmacy schools in the Commonwealth. As much as you like it to, that's when you may see them being placed on an antidepressant. Whether in the classroom or the lab, students at the Appalachian College of Pharmacy in Buchanan County are being put to the test. Does not disturb you. The school opened its doors in 2005 and graduated its first class in 2008. Since then, it has made a name for itself, graduating some of the top pharmacists in Virginia. Nearly 96 percent of the 2014 graduating class passed a national licensing exam, in addition to scoring in the top five of all U.S. accelerated three-year Doctor of Pharmacy programs. It spells academic success of our curriculum. It uh, shows that the three-year accelerated programs can certainly compete and exceed expectations of a four-year program. Three-year pharmacy programs are a relatively new concept, but Dr. Mayhew says this is the right formula for this college located in rural Oakwood, Virginia. Here's your first presentation grade. The fully accredited school graduates on average approximately 70 students per year. The school educates pharmacy students to understand and overcome the challenges of rural health care. Traditional training combined with modern advances provides students with plenty of hands-on experience. So we're looking at um, our um, simulated patient uh, with SimMan. And, uh, this simulated uh, patient can Sim mimic Man just about can any condition a real person would experience, including high blood pressure and even an asthma attack. <laughs> Tyler Joss is in his second year. He moved here from Ohio because of the school's commitment to patient care. When most people think of a pharmacist as being someone who just counts by fives or you know just fills some pills, but um, with the curriculum here, we actually look at the patient as a whole be outside of the realm of the medicine. Dr. Mayhew says Joss and the other students are a solution to the growing need for primary care. By the year 2030, there will be 75 million Americans over the age of 65. It's a 40% increase of what we have right now. So there is going to be an increased need for pharmacists. And as each class graduates, Dr. Mayhew is proud to point out that nearly 100% of them get jobs. In Buchanan County, Samantha Cozy, News 5, WCYB. The school also points out that by graduating in three years, students are able to get jobs sooner and start earning salaries earlier than those students who attend four-year institutions. The Bureau of Labor predicts employment of pharmacists is projected to grow 14 percent through 2022. An increased demand for prescription medications will lead to more demand for pharmaceutical services.